A homemade bomb thrown at a local mosque has its members concerned for their safety. Even more troubling, it was thrown at the side of the building where women and children pray. Stephanie Claytor has the story. Is trying to light it. Surveillance video of what appears to be a man throwing a Molotov cocktail at the Islamic Center of New Mexico. The time on the camera, 3.55 Friday morning. I'm very disappointed that something like this would happen in Albuquerque. It's a hate that can be easily dispelled if they educate themselves and about our religion and they talk to us. Shakir Farid Abdullah found the burnt bottle about five hours later. He fears the perpetrator assumes his mosque is affiliated with terrorism overseas. We believe in peace, nonviolence. We don't support terrorism. We don't support any acts of violence against any religious group. So someone obviously is ignorant to that. Even worse, the Molotov cocktail was thrown at the section of the building dedicated to women and children. Also concerning, Friday is the day hundreds of Muslims come here to pray. No one was injured, but it is still disturbing to those who attend this house of worship. Very grateful on the, you know, who the uh, didn't go through the window. There was nobody around at the time. We didn't have a lot of people. This is not the first time someone has attacked the mosque. A few years ago, there was uh, some, like, frat guys that came and, like, were just throwing flaming Qurans into the yard for, like, National Burn the Quran Day or something like that. Um, about a year ago, there was a gentleman who literally walked into the imam's office with a gun and then and, and threatened him. And this past February, a man approached two children on the mosque playground and allegedly threatened to stab them because he hated Muslims. Cops arrested him, and now members are hopeful investigators can use this surveillance video to put this suspected arsonist behind bars. Stephanie Claytor, KOB Eyewitness News 4. And the New Mexico Conference of Churches released a statement this afternoon. In part, it said Christians across our state reject such hate-based violence violence, we urge all people to resist hatred with compassion in order to build a new era of peace and goodwill. There are